I feel like this TNC, I feel like the Batrider has to go absolutely crazy to win this game. Like the Batrider in the next game where he starts to cut the waves. Um, like between the tier one and the tier two mid. Yeah, I've seen him do this a few times now in different matchups, especially on Ember where he can't get a, a decent lane advantage. Oh, coming out over top as Cuckoo gets. The best thing though is at least for Anna on, on the Morphling, he's getting a decent amount from this lane. Like. He's, he's having almost free oh, farm, boy. you would say. Cuckoo but... coming over to help out Armel and this is in chains, but unable to get out. And another kill here for TNC in the first kill over mid. Yeah, I like seeing this Batrider pick up a bottle as well. He's, he knows that his only's not going to be going for one, so. Hitting on an AU set, chasing down the Ancient Apparition. Now the Ancient Swell placed on him, but they've got the impale. He's still trying to chase onto the Ancient Apparition, and Jarex ultimately gets that kill onto the AA. It would be as, uh, as optimal. He has taken a triple stack on the Sven already, to be fair. So, you know, he's getting something. Bot lane, AA. Are well. you trying to get out of this one? Turns back, and it's because Gabby's here, but. Well, Gabby unable to save the life of this ancient oh, apparition. Indeed, However, yeah, they are converging on this bottom lane. A two man stun from Tins. The Storm Hammer to follow it up. Look at the kill on a Jarex. And the Abaddon will be able to deny himself. But there's the Sanity's Eclipse being thrown into Seb. Double kill. topson has gone for this build where he just hasn't got any points in Flame Guard. Which is going to allow him to actually fight really well early yeah, on this with this chain. Chains. Well. Now Inkswell coming through. They've got the Soulbind placed on a RML. Last room prison himself, keep himself alive. Ice Blast coming out onto the Abaddon. They've also got the Lasso on the Ember. The Sanity's Eclipse is going to be dropped. Now Gabby comes into the mix. They get the kill onto the Ember as well as the Abaddon. Two more in a bad spot as Anna forced to, ink, uh, forced to waveform away with the Inkswell on him. As he'll turn into the Nyx, get a three-man stun, eat a stun from the real Nyx. And in a lot of trouble trying to get out of this one. Seb trying to keep him alive. Back into the next form. Inkswell on top of Jerax, but unable to do anything as he falls. And Seb and Anna back off all the way to the tier one tower, somehow surviving. God Strength gets popped by Gabby, looking over at Seb. They've got the stun moving forward, and Tim's looking to stun up the Abaddon once again. Oh, so damage. he's in a bad spot for the slide of Fist, Searing Chains. And eventually, Gabby will get the kill. They will get the deny on the Abaddon, but three heroes dead on OG, and they lost this fight miserably. Slide of Fist, Searing I mean, Chains. Chains. Maybe get one in return, but there's the Vendetta. Slide of Fist again, not going to be enough. Remnants over, still trying to kill the Abaddon. 15 health. Can they get the chain stun? can't do 15 health of damage, and he will end up losing his life chasing this Abaddon. And on top of it, there's the tips, handing it out, making it rain on Topson with those uh, TI shards. And they'll get the kill on the Jerex. 15 bit too slow. Hammer, he's well. The damage from Gabby, they've got the stun as well as the silence. Anna trying to do as much damage as he can here. He's joined here by the Abaddon, and Gabby just in no man's land. He takes one before he dies, but that is a seven time streak. Should be counterpicked. And like I said, everybody else was banning out OD yesterday. Tim's OG just decided they didn't want it. Looking over at Jerax, they've got the Yules. They'll look for the stun. The impale will land. The right click's coming through. They've also got the lasso. That'll hit on a Thompson. There's a two man ice blast. The ult is going to be popped here by Seth. They'll get the kill on a Jerax. They'll rend it away. Trying to get out of the hands of TNC. Into the hands of Armel. Ends up going down to Cuckoo. The BKB's been popped by Gabby. And Anna forced to. So well, this game. When he gets that online, all of a sudden this E Blade on the morph can't even do anything to the OD anymore. Like he's going to be completely untouchable in that BKB duration. When he Hill, oh. God strength, ice blast oh, coming in, and Seb's gonna end up dying. He's a lot Seb of a sustain here for OG. Fast. And then Thompson, he's the victim next. We're actually surviving. Gets to the back lines. I thought he might be dead. They end up taking Jerax instead. But oh, there's the spike carapace. Oh. Down goes the Abaddon. Sanity's eclipse blowing up Anna. Oh, like they've got the Sven stun, the lasso, the Nick stuns, the hex on the OD, and they're all coming from different sources. <laughs> It's not like they're reliant on one hero for this lockdown. Trying to go for this roach. There's the ice blast as well as the BKB. Going to be popped here by Armel. They'll get the kill onto the Abaddon. They'll look over at Seb. They'll get the kill. And now, like we were just talking about, without Seb, are they even really a team? They try to get the kill here onto Cuckoo. They will finally find one. Jerex running away from Armel, who is silenced for the moment. But while that's happening, Anna will be taking a ride against his TNC Ooh. squad. Trying to survive. Gets impaled. Armel finally finishes off Jerex, who... Yeah, it does get soulbound, but... Soul I, 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 I'm surviving, but eventually hexed. 
Armel right clicking away the waveform out of the low ground. The TP attempt. The Lincoln's pop. Silence on our Mel stroke of fate, then the remnant behind. They were looking with Tim's. They've got the soul bind, so this is setting up quite nicely for OG. It's the best it's set up so far, but the two-man stun comes out from Tim's. He's got that A and this is able to survive the center. His is gonna be dropped down. Look at the kill on the save. They look over at the Abaddon getting right clicked by Armel, looking forward for even more. They've got the Yules here on a Jarek. Slide up this comes out, but they'll grab another one. Three heroes dead. They'll continue on to the base. They'll morph into the Nyx Assassin. Pop the spike carapace. It'll stun up Tim's. Waveform over to the left. There's the E Blade X and a trying to survive. Trying to make a play happen here with not much help from Thompson. Finally pops the Aegis, so it's something. Anna still alive, but everybody's here. He turns into the Snicks again and stuns them up. Can he survive once more? Uh, no, not this time. However, Tim's does eventually fall. Thompson gets a the spirit vessel, but he still needs a spirit vessel, just in case. It was the item that almost replaced his job back when it was first released. Oh, the hex. forward, there's the Hex. Topson getting low and stunned up here by Gabby. They'll throw the ult, but it's a little bit too late to save Topson. The Soulbind comes in. They've also got the Silence as well as the Heaven's Halberd on the both these heroes. Astro Imprisonment staying alive. Zeb without any mana. He's got the Abotic Shield on him, and he is quite tanky. The BKB is going to be popped here by Armel. He's moving forward. There's the Lasso to get the kill on the Jarex. Topson trying to do something, but Hex up. Triple kill for Gabby. Looking for it all. Zeb. Still alive, Ultra Give Kill, can it be the Rampage? Give it to him, give it to this oh. man, Armel, come on! Are you kidding me? Come on! GG is called by OG, TNC, get the game, we're going to a game three. Well, Gabby manages to get to the secret shop to buy his AC before the game ends. That's, yeah, a, those stats. that's a big break.